Jeremiah had stayed safe. He was almost as crazy as the craziest and had no fear of anything. Lighting fires every chance he got was what kept him occupied. Sometimes he'd even be able to light them while the crazies were inside and could stand and watch and listen to them scream in pain. It kept him occupied indeed. He had been sleeping in the tunnels underground and coming up daily off and on to hunt for food in empty houses or stores, then going back under for safety. He was a loose cannon and anyone who had known him before all of this knew that. Rebecca held her baby tightly. She could hear the commotion just outside the door where she and her baby hunkered down hiding behind the desk. She closed her eyes, tears streaming down her face, holding her little girl against her chest and prayed. Please, God, please hear my prayer. The noise stopped. The growling and snarling and the thumping on walls, all of it stopped suddenly. She held her baby tighter against her chest, so tight, in fact, just to keep her quiet for fear they would hear and break down the door. That she was almost afraid she would smother her, but she couldn't let up. She had to keep her quiet at any cost. Rebecca sat motionless behind the desk, listening for any movement outside the office door. It was quiet. Too quiet considering the commotion that had gone on just two minutes prior. After only minutes, she stood up, still holding her baby, and slowly walked to the door that led to the hallway of this building. She easily pressed her ear against the door, and focusing on anything that pertained to movement, she stood like that for five minutes. Her baby girl remained quiet and sleeping soundly. Rebecca reached her hand out for the doorknob, and softly and quietly turned it, one centimeter at a time. As she did so, a small tiny squeak sounded from the office door.